M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I don't really use CW much. I've learned the alphabet. I'm just going to show you the settings uh, wait, that I think you can change in the Yaesu 817. Um, so basically, if you hold down the F button here, let's just turn that down. Hold down the F. And you've got the, I can see here is, let's go to the first one. 17 is CW delay, 18 CW ID, CW paddle, you've got normal or reverse, CW pitch, which you can change again with the VFO, CW speed, let's do that to about 15, CW weight, 1.3.0, and that's it. And then the other one is if you come out, and you just tap the Kia. I found that um, to, to get the Lambic Kia to work, I had to use, change this. I just pushed it and it started working. So if you go, there you go. You get it? Let's go back a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Let's try and do my um, call sign. So M, zero, then F, X. So I, I sort of know a bit of CW, I'm not that good at it. So that's the, the Lambic Kia working, plugged into the back. I'll just show you how that plugs in now. Too many wires here. So there you go, just plugs in there. That's the uh, the middle black wire. We're using the the Bencher Kia. Let's just put that back in place, like so. Um, so yeah, it seems to work fine. You've got break in there. So if you turn that off, then you're not going to TX. I should have done that, but yeah, you know, we're let's say we're on a dummy load and. What else? I think that's about it, really. You can change your bands up and down. Obviously, choose the correct frequency for TXing when you're CW keying. If you want to change your power, just hit the F. Turn this until you see power. And then look. Full power is 5 watts. Not sure if you'll get that on a battery, but full power is 5. Then it goes down to 2.51, and I think think something like 0 0.5 need to check so yeah cw kia venture cw kia actually paddle lambic style and the yesu 81773